Hi, welcome to part two of the new and exciting features in QuickDoc 12. Through the year, we release minor fixes and enhancements to our customers. But with the release of version 12, we are proud to introduce some new, important, and powerful features. Since the list of new features is large, this video is part two of a two-part presentation. QuickDoc's new IM or chat functionality allows you to privately communicate in real time with other staff members right from within QuickDoc. To chat with someone, click on the chat arrow to expand the list of users. You can see who is currently logged on or off. If you want to send a message to someone who is logged on, double click their name and open a chat window. Enter your message and click send. Since this person is logged on, they will immediately be notified that you have sent them a message. Their response will appear above and you can continue to chat. If you selected a person who was not logged on, or if you received a message when you were logged off, the next time you log on, you will be notified that a message is waiting for you. At any time, you can sign out by clicking the sign out button if you wish not to be disturbed. Since QuickDoc maintains a history of your messages, it's easy to go to the history and check for past communications. Patients in QuickDoc can now be associated with a family name and grouped together. Families are associated with providers. Go to the family list under the setup menu. Click add to add a family name, like Doe. Next, add family members by searching your list. I'm going to enter the first letters of a patient's last name and click lookup. Next, I will select the members and add them to the list and click save. Once added, you can easily search for patients grouped by family name. You can right click patients, click filter by family, and enter the family name just to show those patients associated with that family name. Our new and powerful chart preview generates the patient's chart as a PDF file which you can print, save as a PDF document, and even select the parts of the chart to generate. Click File, Print, and then Generate the Chart. You can select the parts that you want to print or save and refresh the preview. It's easy to navigate through the chart, zoom in or out, or go to the exact note that you want to see. Some great new features for notes include a session timer, an auto replace function, or if you're in a teaching setting, a note review function. When opening a note, if you're doing notes contemporaneously, set the time and click Start. You can see at a glance how much time has passed. For the Auto Replace function, go to the Auto Replace text from the Setup menu in the front end. I've entered a few items to use the Auto Replace function feature, such as PT for patient, RX for prescription, TX for treatment. Once added, and when in a note, just enter those abbreviations, and then the spacebar. Voila, your text is replaced. As for the note review, this can be set by the administrator in the setup preferences. When opening a note, a supervisor can make comments for the provider. In this example, as a supervisor, I will make a note for the intern and make sure to tell them to enter a diagnosis. When the intern opens a note, they can see any notes entered and then respond. For the scheduler, we've added two new features. One, the ability to color code appointment types, and two, a frequently requested feature, the ability to set repeating group appointments. To color code appointment types, open the scheduler, go to the appointment types list, and create an appointment type and color. Now, when you add an appointment, you can set the type and see what it is at a glance on all views. To set a repeating group, 
Simply create your starting group. You can even set a location now. Right click the appointment, select repeating appointment, and set the recurrence pattern and date range or number of occurrences. You can see the sample dates and then click OK. Since group membership may change from week to week, when you open future appointments, no members will be attached. So click Load Members. Members are loaded based on their effective start and end dates, so be sure to maintain all members with a start and end date when they terminate. Finally, QuickDoc now has the ability to use and embed PDF fillable forms for you to use as notes or treatment plans. Since this is a very rich and comprehensive new feature, it deserves its own dedicated video. See the PDF fillable forms video for more information. And thank you for listening and be sure to check out our other videos that go into more depth for new features in version 12.